All right, so I've been receiving this question. A person coming in from biotechnology background and a person coming in from a zoology background. Who gets the higher chance of qualifying say Senate examination? By definition, I'm not talking about who is more uh, studious than the other, who is more intelligent than the other. No, on general idea, based on your background, biotechnology helps to qualify CSI net better or zoology because of the syllabus similarity. Then I will give you a straight ahead answer. Biotechnology, microbiology background students get straight ahead advantage over zoology. Although the syllabus as you said, as you may think that is more similar to that of the CSI net syllabus. But in reality, the number of questions asked, the type of questions asked are mostly from modern biology topics that is biochemistry, cell biology, molecular biology. Even from the unit 6, even from unit 7, the questions are at bare molecular level. That is why it is very important that we all know uh, that where we stand from a biotechnology student. I have already explained uh, the syllabus similarities and what to do to crack CSI and life science examination from zoology background. But this time I will be explaining how to crack CSI and life science from biotechnology background. First thing if I compare the syllabus then what part of the CSI net syllabus is similar to biotechnology syllabus? I will give you a simple list. Uh, unit 1 biochemistry, unit 2 cell biology, unit 3 molecular biology are similar. Then uh, unit, a part of unit 4 that is immunology and all which is also there. Uh, then obviously we have uh, unit uh, 11, a portion of unit 11. We have unit 12 and you have unit 13. So these are the units and genetics is another unit obviously forgot always genetics is another unit so these are units that are similar uh, from the biotechnology syllabus of yours to that of the csi net syllabus how many units three six eight so even if someone decides that i'll only prepare the units which are in my zone from a biotechnology background eight topics eight units are out there that is from your zone from biotechnology background students out of 13 that you can prepare and individual I know I knew individual who qualified CSI net with only 8 units uh, prepared out of 13 yes it is possible but with a little extra preparation you can prepare unit 5 or unit 6 you can also prepare these two units that will give us 2 more units 10 more units so I will give you this idea of preparing this 10 units preparation with the help of uh, your existing knowledge of cell biology, molecular biology and develop uh, uh, and biochemistry. If you know this 3 units very well, this is very important, you know, during your graduation and masters of biotechnology, if you prepared biochemistry, cell biology and molecular biology very well, it's going to immensely help you while you prepare for CSI net examination that you must understand at least the biochemistry should be crystal clear the carbohydrate metabolism part and structural biochemistry of carbohydrates proteins lipids all are equally important for CSI net ex examinations and CSIR are asking question as a bare minimum basic questions from unit 1 2 and 3 so if you prepare them you are ready to go and what else you need to know if you prepare this 10 units then yes with the time frame of 6 months or 9 months or a year you can still qualify the CSI net life science examination and what you need is solving PYQs previous years question papers you have plenty of books in the market if you join our coaching we provide you that explanations are also very important and we also provide you that with our book so <clears throat> these things are there what you need is a guidance what you need is a study plan what to start when to start when to stop and when to revise you need someone who is telling you all the information ultimately it's you who will be preparing it's you who will be putting everything in your brain so you need to put the effort nobody is going to do that obviously we if you join a coaching either you join ours or any other they are going to give you a ready-made version of many things which might take longer for you to prepare but ultimately it is you who will be practicing more and more often to get things clear in your head and at times revise so that during examinations you can easily attend a question 
and should not get blank you should recall and can answer that so all the very best if you are from biotechnology background you can easily cover 10 units but individuals coming in from zoology background botany background can barely cover six to eight units from their background only they need to read new topics as a biotechnology students you need to read developmental biology you need to prepare plant physiology these are essentials but the number of units which you need to prepare uh, out of your league are lesser than in your league that is why I told you biotechnology students are getting more advantage microbiology students are getting more advantage qualifying CSI net examination over the zoology students or the botany students I believe you have a clear idea if you like this video please hit the like button share this video with your friends and if you want to join Shomu's biology coaching the admission is going on the number is there in this video and also the links are there in the description thank you bye